everything's going well at home. Um, I'd like to teach you a game today. It's um, a game I've enjoyed playing over the years with lots of different classes. Um, so I'm going to teach you. Mrs Butcher is here with me um, and I'm playing against her, so um, she'll be helping you too. And the game is called Three in a Row. And you don't need very much at all, so you just need a 100 square. You need either one dice, or if you do have four dice, four different dice. Um, and then something to cover up the squares. So if you have something at home, some little bits of paper so that you can play this over and over again. Right, so first things first, the aim is to try and get four, or three, sorry, in a row. So here we go. So I've rolled my dice, and I have rolled a six, a five, a three, and a one. Now I can choose whatever I want to do with those numbers so that I can match a number on my 100 square. So the easiest thing to do is just to add them all together. So double five is 10, so with six that makes 11, plus three makes 14, plus one makes 15. So I can put my sticker on 15. Right, now it's Mrs Butcher's turn. So I've got my four dice. Quite low numbers. I've got a three, a one, a two, and a four. So I think I might do three times one is three. Two add four is six, and I'm going to go for nine. That's nicely out the way of Mrs. Cole's number. Okay. Right, so I this time have rolled a four, a four, a five, and a three. Now, if you want to get three in a row, what you need to do is you need to try and get a number that's close to the number that you've already got. So I'm going to try adding them up again. Double four, I know that's eight. And I know that five and three is also a number bond of eight. And if I double those together, I'm now on 16. So I'm really lucky. I can put my sticker next to there, which means I've only got to get one more, so Mrs Butcher might need to try and block me now. Right, here we go. A five, a four, a three, and a one. Now this is tricky. I wonder if I can make 14 or 17. I can make 17 because five times four equals 20, and three times one equals three. 20 take away three equals 17. Okay, right, back to me. Right, this time I've done three, and two, and two, and three. Now what I would really like to do is to be able to get that 14 there, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to. Three times two would be six, times two would be 12, add three would make 15. Hmm. Let me do three times three equals nine, and then two times two equals four, and I'm going to add those together, and that makes 13. So I'm still close, but I'm not close enough. Okay, I've got a six, a one, a five, and a two. Now I could try and block Mrs. Cole with 14, or I could try and, and get a number myself. Let's have a look. Um, they're quite high numbers. I could get 17 again. I don't want 17 again. Could I get 14? 5 times 2 is 10. That's either 15 or 16 or 17. What 
what about if I add them all up? Double five would be 11. Uh, double five is 10, add one is 11. 12, 13, 14. I think I'm going to block again with 14. Okay, my turn. I've got five, one, one, and two. Okay, so I might want to try and see if I can get something around here. So if I did five, add two, that equals seven. Seven, take away one, equals six. And six times one, equals six. So I'm going to be able to put a sticker on the six this time. Right, here we go. Three, add four, add two, add three. Three, four, two, and three. Okay, three times three is nine, four times two is eight, nine and eight is 17 again. I'm wondering, wondering if I can get something here around 18. Three times four is 12. Add two times three. Three times four equals 12. Two times three equals six. And 12 add six equals 18. That's not quite three in a row because it's wonky. They need to be three in a straight line. Okay, so this time I've got six, four, three, and one. Now what I'd really like to go, do is go for this number here, 26. Now I know that six times four equals 24, and I need to find a way of making two with these numbers. One of any of you have spotted how I can make two. So if I do three times uh, three, take away one, that equals two. And if I add those together, I get 26, and I'm the winner, yes. So this is something you can play either with your grown-up at home, or you can play with a brother or sister, um, if you think they're able to. There's lots of ways of making this different. You could change the number of dice, make it more or less. You could change the number that you need to get in a row, um, perhaps if you're moving towards some really mathematical thinking, you might have a think about where your brackets might go. Mum and Dad might enjoy teaching you that. So it would be great to hear how you get on with the game three in a row, four in a row, five in a row. Let us know how you go.